Hi, my name's Warwick Badgery. I'm a researcher at Gronos with New South Wales DPI. Today we're collecting baseline samples to work out the starting soil carbon levels. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to this site after five years' time after the farmer has implemented the land management changes and we'll monitor the same points and we'll determine the, the change in soil carbon uh, to see how much soil carbon has been built. Hi, my name is Anna Shaw and we are involved in the Lachlan CMA and DPI soil carbon project. The reason we're involved is we're very interested in improving the quality of our soils and the production values on our farm. We're also interested in any programs that improve production outcomes and environmental outcomes on our property. So we've just pulled this soil core out here. we just divide it up into 0 to 10, which is the soil surface layer, uh, 10 to 20 centimetres and 20 to 30 centimetres. So just mark out different layers here. We slice the zip in there. We just combine this layer with um, the seven other soil samples that we've collected uh, at this location. As part of our involvement in this project, we are applying biosolids on the paddocks and then we are switching from a cropping rotation to a permanent pasture rotation. The pasture should be in for three years by the time the, the project has completed. Uh, the reason farmers uh, are keen to be involved in building soil carbon is there's some benefits in uh, greater water holding capacity. Um, it, it also helps with nutrient cycling, uh, supplying nutrients to plants. Um, and, and the other side is there is a need to develop um, offset for greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, building soil carbon has been identified as one of the methods, uh, but currently there's a lot of variability in soil carbon due to land use and soil type, and uh, there needs to be some more understanding about um, how those interactions uh, come together and whether we can practically implement uh, changes in soil carbon uh, with farmers. I come from an environmental background and I'm very interested in improving environmental outcomes on properties. This project's particularly interesting because it improves outcomes for the landholder in terms of improved production and improved soil quality, as well as improved environmental outcomes that benefit broader society.